Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking. This is Anne. Now the materials for this tutorial is in the description box below. I started by cutting a desired length of fish line that I will want to work with. Okay, so starting, I pick one sand bead, one crystal, second sand bead, second crystal, third sand bead, and the third crystal. So in total, I should be having three crystal bead and three sand bead. You tie it together. You tie together firmly as you can. You tie it firmly as you can. At the end of your fish line, you tie it firmly as you can. Then you cut the excess. Okay. Alright, guys, this being done, you pass your fish line through the next immediate sand bead the next immediate sand bead then you pick seven sand bead you pick seven sand bead pick seven sand bead i'm not using a needle so that's why i'm suffering i would advise you use a needle if you can use your free hand as I'm doing, kudos to you. After picking your seven sand bead, you pass your fish line through the next sand bead by skipping the immediate crystal bead. You pass it through the next sand bead by skipping the first or immediate crystal bead again you pick another seven sand bead that's what i'm doing right now i'm picking seven sand bead seven sand bead Sept. my friend is coming gradually so after this, I'm passing my fish line through the next sand bead by skipping the immediate crystal bead. This is what you should get. This being done, you are picking another seven sand bead. You pick another seven sand bead. And the Doraka sink six set seven sand beat. Then you're going to pass it through where you started picking the sand beads, the very first sand beat that. You, you used initially but then you are passing your fish line through that sand bead and through the immediate first four sand beads after that bead I don't know what you get what I'm trying to say you should pass it through and make sure that your face line passes through the beat until it reach the middle of the crystals. Okay, so after that, you pick one crystal and you pass your face line through the sand bead lying directly on the crystal. You can count and it turns out to be the fourth bead. After doing this, you are repeating again. You pick another crystal and pass it through the fourth or the sand bead lying directly on the crystal bead. 
I'm sorry if I'm confusing you, but if you watch, you will see what I'm trying to say. Picking another crystal and pass it through the fourth bead. The, sorry, the fourth sun bead or the bead, the sun bead line directly on the crystal. Okay, this being that we are picking seven sun bead again. We are picking seven sun beads again. If you don't understand what I'm saying, watch closely and you get everything. So after picking the seven sun bead, you pass your fish line through the next sun bead after your crystal. It's just a repetition thing. You pass your fish line through the immediate sand bead after your crystal. We are picking another seven sand beads. I advise you use the needle to help you work faster because I'm not using a needle that's why I'm getting things slowly the next sand bead after a crystal by skipping a crystal bead you see so we are picking seven sun beads again. Guys, at this point, I want you to stop by and subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. Share to your friends and family and comment down below for me to know what you think about the video. We are repeating what we did previously. The third step, you pass your fish line through the immediate sun bead by skipping one crystal bead. Then you pass your fish line through the next four beads after that immediate sun bead. All is the same as passing your fish line through all the sand beads by skipping a crystal and passing your fish line through all the sand beads up to the bead that lies directly on the crystal directly on the next crystal guys watch it closely and you understand it perfectly this being done, you start by picking one crystal, then you pass your fish line through the bead line directly on the next crystal. You pass your fish line through the bead line directly on the next crystal. Or you can do this by counting four sand beads after the immediate crystal you pick another crystal repeat the same step you pick another crystal the third crystal Uh, to be using a needle this wouldn't have been difficult for me after 
doing this, you pull your fish line family for the design to come out perfectly. You need to pull your fish line. You're repeating the steps that we'll be doing by picking seven sun beads. Keeping one crystal, the first or immediate crystal before the sun beat. You pick another seven. Usual, you pass your fish line through the beads, through the sun bead, nice by skipping the first crystal bead. So, we are picking the third or the last seven sun beads. We are picking the third seven sets of sand beads. After picking, we pass a fish line through the next sand bead by skipping one crystal or the immediate crystal. After that, you make sure you pass your fish line through the first four sun beads. The first four sun beads, or you pass your fish line through all the sun beads up to where the sun bead lies directly on the crystal. This being done. You continue by picking a crystal and you pass your fish line through the bead, uh, the sand bead line directly on the immediate crystal. You repeat the same method again. You repeat it again. Pull your fish line firmly as you can. So, as you can see, the design is forming. The bead of pineapple necklace, you can make it as a bracelet as well. It's all about repetition. You'll be repeating these steps until you get your desired length. Another seven. Do the immediate sand bead by skipping the first crystal bead. A ring will form on the immediate crystal bead after where your fish line is going to start. Guys, 
I'm just praying and hoping you pay close attention to this tutorial and you'll be able to make this and it will come out beautiful repeating this step you pick seven sand bead you pass it through the immediate sand bead by skipping the first crystal bead before where your first line starts repeating the step again and picking seven sand beads then from where you started passing your first line through the immediate sand beads you end there by ending there after passing your first line through that sand bead where you started from, you continue to pass your first line through all the sand beads on that particular crystal until it reaches the middle or the crystal line directly on the very crystal where the ring forms. After this, you start by picking your first crystal, then pass you to the sand bead lying directly on the crystal or in the middle of the sand beads. Repeating the same step again. By passing your first line through the bead line in the middle of the sand beads or directly on the crystal. Okay, so like I said, this is a repetition process you do this until you get your design thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe